Yeah, you know, Jennifer King is what we like to call homegrown. She is from Reedsville, North Carolina, all the way to breaking barriers for women in the NFL. She is the true definition of a trailblazer and told me she's just getting started. Happy Women's History Month. Congratulations on breaking barriers for women in the NFL. Thank you. I mean, I, I appreciate that. I think it's it's been cool to see all of the, the posts, just people sharing various women in various industries. Jennifer King speaking with me virtually just moments after getting home from a busy day at work. She's still getting acclimated to her new job in the Windy City as the Chicago Bears' first female coach. The organization's been great. Uh, all the other coaches that I've met have been great. So I haven't really got to meet the players yet, but uh, I'm excited, you know, to get started in the off-season program. That happens in April, telling me she's working with a new staff on offense, getting prepared for the players to return. And you also have to kind of see what you have and, and what you may have in the future as well. It's a lot going on. You know, we're we're self-scouting the guys that we have. We're, we're getting ready for the draft. The North Carolina native says it hasn't been easy, but she's worked hard to get here holding two internships with the Carolina Panthers, working with the AAF League, Dartmouth College, and her last position of assistant running backs coach with the Washington Commanders. She says players in this male-dominated industry have been receptive to her. I found out very early with the Panthers that, you know, the, the guys, they don't care. You know, if you can help them, if you can give them a message that can help them, they don't care where it comes from. The 39-year-old admits she wouldn't be here today without the love and support of her number one fans, her parents. Here's what they told us just a few years ago when news broke that she had been hired by the Carolina Panthers. It felt a cold chill to see your old kid's name going across the bottom of the, of the screen on ESPN. That has meant so much to us because black females, you know, we have to tell our black female girls that yes, you can. You are just as good as the next person. King told me football has always been a big part of her upbringing, falling in love with the game as early as five years old. My family's a big North Carolina a &T family, so we go to games on Saturdays as well and usually watch NFL games on Sundays. Her biggest advice for the next generation of women is bet on yourself. Years ago, she worked as a police officer before transitioning into being a basketball coach, walking away from it all to pursue football coaching full time. So they can can see kind of where you can go in life if you, if you work hard and have ambitions and goals and, um, you know, things can really fall into place for you. OK, so what's next for JK, you ask? She's taking things a day at a time, but hopes to become a position coach next. Until then, she says she will keep working and learning. Joel and Lauren King says she's excited to see what the future holds for women in football. I love that. We're excited to see whatever Coach King does next. I know. Big fan. Akilah, thank you.